Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Friday, March 25th, 2022. Free play coming up in the NBA. I'm going to get to that in just a moment. First, a real quick note. A star of the show for me on Friday is a six-star play in the NBA, six-star knockout. Uh, my top plays in the NBA this year since day one, we are hitting 64%, going 37 and 21. We picked up over $7,400. All rated plays in the NBA this year uh, have gone now on a 74 and 46 run since October picking up over $11,000. And that is the star of the show for me. Six star in the NBA on Friday. I do have hockey. I've got a five star, just my fourth five star hockey play of this season. Uh, we passed yesterday. And then in college basketball, I've got three plays. I've got two sides and one total, all from Friday's big dance action. I lost with Texas Tech last night. It was my lone play in college basketball. And uh, we started out just fine Thursday and Friday, but Saturday, Sunday, and Thursday have been horrible for me in the big dance in college basketball. We'll look to rebound on Friday. Uh, just a heads up, if you're going to jump on board, we do have the three three-star rated plays, but it hasn't been going good the last three big dance days, Saturday, Sunday, and last night. I lost with Texas Tech. If I didn't just mention that, it's late. <laughs> anyway, we'd like to get back on track, but the star of the show for me again is the NBA on Friday with the six-star play. Let's get to our free play in the NBA, which obviously isn't that six-star play, and that is the 76ers minus the points over the Clippers. It's five and a half, six, more sixes than five five and a half as we speak at about oh, 4 a.m. Eastern time on Friday morning. Uh, basically, since James Harden first stepped on the floor for Philly, uh, his new team has gone 10 and 4 straight up with a plus 56 point differential, which includes the four defeats. The losses all came against solid playoff bound teams, including Eastern Conference and NBA title contenders Miami and Brooklyn. Uh, the Clippers, meanwhile, may end up in the Western Conference playoffs, but they're a definite drop off in level of competition from the teams that have already beaten the Sixers since Harden has jumped on board. Uh, the Clippers have lost four in a row. Uh, looking at their numbers here, four in a row, both straight up and against the spread. They've allowed at least 120 points to be scored in three of those games. Philly minus the points, the free play in Friday's NBA. And again, star of the show for me on Friday is the sixth star in the NBA. We'll look to go to 38 and 21 with my high-end plays this season, 75 and 46 overall in the NBA. Soccer returns on Saturday, NASCAR on Sunday. We'll talk to you a little bit more about that over the next couple of days. Let's put them in the win column, everybody. And if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.